Hey everybody, so it's been a minute since I have put out a video. It's been probably maybe two months or so, but man, there's been so much going on. That's a long story, we'll get into that a little bit later. And again, I apologize for the camera quality here. We're working off of the webcam. I got the DSLR and the uh, mirrorless cameras over here, but I didn't wanna set all that up because really I'm just hopping on and sharing my opinion about Wonder Woman 1984. There will be completely no spoilers in this. I will assume that most of you all have seen it, but some of you might not have, and I don't want to ruin it for you. So here's the thing, man. Like, there's a lot of different points of view about this, and if you have seen it, you know what people are sharing, and maybe you have shared this point of view yourself. Some people really love this movie. They think it is the best Wonder Woman movie that we've had so far in recent years, comparing Wonder Woman uh, 2017 to what we have right now, and... Some people hate it. Some people think it's complete trash. They're they're completely disappointed in it. They absolutely hated it, hated it. And some people think it's like, eh, you know, it was alright. It was okay. It was it was serviceable. It was a decent movie. Um, so here are my thoughts about Wonder Woman 1984. And I was really looking forward to it. And the movie is average. I would fall into that category to say that it's serviceable. It's not terrible. It does have some big big problems to me, none of which I am going to get into right now because I don't want to spoil anything for you and I'm scared I might say something and then you'd be mad at me because I told something I shouldn't have told and you and I spoiled it for you. I don't want to I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to do that. So here's the main problem with Wonder Woman 1984 is that it suffers from what I, I always classify as strength of story. It's just not that strong of a story to me. The performances are fine. Gal Gadot is amazing as Wonder Woman. To me, she is like, she's Wonder Woman for me right now. Like, I don't, if you cast someone else in that role, it's going to be hard for me because I feel the same way about her that I feel about Chris Evans playing Captain America or uh, RDJ playing Iron Man. Like, there's no one else that, that can be Wonder Woman that can put on the bracelets, right, outside of Gal Gadot. I just think she's so good in this role. So the performances were good as well. Chris Pine was good. Christian Wig was fantastic as Cheetah. She was, she was really good. She played that role as well. Uh, Pedro Pascal, you know, he was okay. Um, I didn't really love his performance in this. I felt like some of it was forced. I don't think all of that was his fault. I think some of it was the writing, which I didn't think was that good in this either. Um, but he was okay in this as well. So all in all, though, the performances were really good. The special effects were fantastic in this. I mean, it was really, really good. Some of the stuff I can say, right, because I've, you guys have seen the commercial. But when you see her lassoing the lightning strikes... <laughs> I'm just like, this is amazing. So technically, there was a lot of great stuff going on in here. The visuals were really good. I thought the visuals were actually pretty exceptional in this. I was really, really satisfied with that. And I think the directing was good with this too, um, with Patty Jenkins directing this. I, I think all of that was, was on point. The problem with this film is the story. It doesn't have the strength of story that the first one has. And for those that don't like this film, that is what I think that they don't like about it. See, the difference is in the first Wonder Woman, it was the power of the story and it was the focus on her adjusting and realizing that everything is not like she thought it was. Like the world outside of the mascara, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, was different. And we got to see her come into that world and understand that this is not the world that she thought it was. And she had this idea about how this world would be corrected and it was her mission to do so. So she goes about trying to fulfill that mission in the first movie. And all of that story that we see unfold as we watch her develop, as we watch her essentially become Wonder Woman, as that story gives us a lot of emotional weight. There are so many different sub stories and context going on in that movie that they handle really well without beating you over the head with all of these different ideologies and ideas and, and things that are wrong with the world. All that stuff in the first movie makes it really good. It makes the movie emotionally heavy so we connect with Wonder Woman that way, but we also just connect with her as a person realizing who she is. Wonder Woman 1984 doesn't have any of that, and I'm not really blaming 
them for that because at this point she has been outside of the mascara for a while. She understands what mankind is like. She understands what the world is at this point. And we have a Wonder Woman in 1984 that is at that place. She's not the same person she was in Wonder Woman, the original one, the 2017 movie. But it is the story from the 2017 movie that makes it a better movie. It's a better story. And in most cases, when you have a better story, you have a better movie. And that's what is happening in the original movie, the 2017 movie, I keep saying original because there were several Wonder Woman movies that came out before that, but, but the recent Wonder Woman movies, that's what makes it better than Wonder Woman 1984. Not to mention that I, 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 I kind of wish we just had gone with a different idea with the story of 1984. I just don't, I don't feel like it was a very strong story. And, 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 and the core of kind of what this story is built around, to me, just could have been so much better. I think it just, it, it just had so much more potential if it was a different story. Um, some comic book fans, if you're fans of the comics and you're, and, you're, and you're that guy or that girl, you might be upset because from what I understand, this is not the origin story of Cheetah in the comic books. I don't know because I don't really read DC Comics like that. I'm a much more of a Marvel guy. You guys who, who, who know me and been following the channel or whatever, you know that. Um, that, that is the main problem with it. It is, it is the story. The story is just not as good. Uh, the concept or, 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 or what the story is built around, the idea is not, to me, is not a very strong concept. Um, and in some cases, while the performances were really good, the writing is not that good in this. It, it's just, it, it, it's not. But th what makes this story rise and fall is it that it doesn't rise or fall, should I say, depending on what you think about it. I'm saying fall. It, it just doesn't have the strength of story that the original had. The original story was more heartfelt. It had more power and it, and, and, and it was more connective for us emotionally, for those who really love the story. And obviously there were a lot of people because people went Wonder Woman nuts after that first movie came out. So that's the deal with Wonder Woman 1984. I'm not sure what you think about that. If you agree with me, disagree with me, it's all good. You can drop a comment. Don't drop a comment. It's up to you. Uh, whatever you think about it. But if you have seen it, I would love to know what you have, uh, what you thought about it if you've seen it. And then, um, yeah, man, I guess that's all I'll say about that. So those are my thoughts on Wonder Woman 1984. I think I said just enough to share, I guess, how I feel about it and didn't spoil anything for you, or at least I hope I didn't. But that's all I got. All right, you guys, I got to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Peace.